Our camera lens trained on one man. A hat-trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray. With me for commentary is Lee Dixon. I'm really thrilled to be bringing you live action from Ligue 2. Lee, this ought to be special. Well, thank you, Derek. Glorious atmosphere here. Really looking forward to it. The fans are too. The players look like they're up for it. This could be end to end. We could get goals today, Derek. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, Derek, how do you stop him? Very difficult, I would say. He's got absolutely everything, playing with such confidence. Defenders really need to up the game today to stop him. This is how it looks for the home side. If you like wingers, you'll love this, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. This is the lineup for the visitors today. And this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. And the game begins. Ignatov. Alexandru Paun. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Is it going to be? And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, he's delighted, isn't he? We can see that. Calm is needed now just to consolidate this lead. Cool heads. The opening goal of the game, then. Not the pass he had in mind. Well, I'm sure quite a few people were asking the question, what is the manager thinking about playing him in this position? But he's adjusted really well to it. And who knows, we could see more and more of this league. Well, I think you have to be adaptable as a player. You're worth your weight in goal to a manager if you can put a shift in all over the park. He's certainly done that, there's no doubt about it. He just gets on with his job in hand. He's an absolute perfect pro. It's opening up for them. As a go! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating. Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do it justice how patient they were in the build-up. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. Even Steven won a piece on this match. Dembele. Ignatov. Alexandru Paun. And a creative look about this. High quality defending.
Well, big news. A penalty has been awarded in one of the other games. Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Khan. A slight delay as the ref clear. Chances on. That is top-notch goalkeeping. He had to reach in with his hand. Yeah, it's all about reading the pace of the ball and the player's feet. When do I go down? When do I strip the ball? Did a brilliant job then. Ignatov. Look at Garitano. Plenty of options. Fluency of movement. Weya. Can he keep his composure? And a goal! Well, here it is again. One phrase springs to mind, tiki-taka. How good is this? The opposition can get nowhere near them. It's a great team goal. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. Well, 2-1 it is here. Conte. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. It could be the big moment for him. Defending of the highest class to stop him. Look at Garitano. Timothy Weah. Garitano on the ball. Can he take the chance? In it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, as we see again here, the damage is started with a beauty of a through ball. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Anna. Conte. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Alexandru Paun. Crisp tackling. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Ignatov. Well, he was in the right place to intercept. The hosts have had the lion's share of possession. But after that, it's been really disappointing. Players are looking at each other. You've got to take control. You've got to take responsibility yourself. Make something happen in this game. How about the cross? Can they get in behind them? Surely! It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, here it is again. It's a better angle of it. He's leaning back, and that's why it goes so high. He's a little bit lucky. No, he won't care. 3 2 it is. Who would have predicted that before a ball was kicked? Timothy Weah and slipped through beautifully the end product just wasn't there
Well, the pass not finding its target. Timothy Weyer. Weyer. Real danger. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Now, what on earth happened there? Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. This could level it. And the keeper showing tremendous command. Big corner here. Listen to the fans. They need to use that energy to suck the ball in. Attending to his defensive chores. Corner again. Played into the centre of the box. So that is that. The first 45 minutes have come and gone, and it's the visitors on top, Lee. Well, a scintillating display from the attacking department of this team. Now, this defence are going to have to hold on for dear life in the second half in order to secure the win. Good luck. Anything could happen with this lot. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Well, pass after pass, maybe they can chisel an opportunity. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Conte. Just cutting off the supply. And will it be the leveller? And a goal. It was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, I'm sure you want to see this again. Where is everybody? The defenders, nowhere to be seen. It's an open goal. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Le numéro 20, Julian Lopez. Ignatov. Timothy Weyer. That's how to rob them of possession. Quick ball almost all along the ground. Can he put them in front? And it's come off the keeper. Time for a change then. Look at Garitano. Alexandru Paun. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Running with the ball confidently. Ivan Bayiu cuts it back. A glorious chance. A goal here! Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as we can see again here, he knows exactly what he's doing and kids all the defenders with the cutback. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. Well, the manager knows the importance of that goal. He also knows that you're at your most vulnerable just after you've scored. Well, if you enjoy high-scoring contests, this has been the game for you. Well, there's been a goal elsewhere. Alan McAnally with the latest. It's a goal for Ogzer. 59 minutes played, 1-0. Many thanks, Alan. Half an hour remaining then. Well, possession seeded. 
Votre attention, s'il vous plaît, on demande Madame Brian à l'entrée du stade. Madame Brian, merci. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Look at Garitano. It's way up on the ball. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? Has eyes for goal! Well, just went a bit too early. Offside. So, a personnel change then. They've regained possession. Timothy Weah. Alexandru Paun. Can he take the chance? Oh, it might be. And a goal! There he is! And the double! They just can't subdue him! Well, here it is again. You're trained from a young age to get in those sort of positions. And never in any real doubt he'd finish that. Cool and composed. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. And he read it superbly. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. He's got the right idea with that pass. And by a wafer thin margin, offside. Alexandru Paun. This looks promising. Takes the shot. How on earth did the goalkeeper get there? Well, he's died forever, hasn't he? He's got that strong hand on it. It's a brilliant save. And a substitution in the offing. Able to deal with the threat. And a chance for him on the flank. Laurent Anna. Gives it a go. And a goal! They've cut into the lead. It's not settled yet. Well, I just love to look at perfect technique and you won't get any better than this. It's just a dream strike. Brilliant, brilliant effort. Well, I must say, I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. And news of a goal in one of the other matches. Over to Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Nancy. Four minutes remain. 2-1. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. Bayou. Garitano on the ball.
Ignatov. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Ivan Bayiu. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, we know they ship goals for fun, this lot. No change there then. But luckily, the forwards turned up and it's a nice three points in the bag. Well done. Is it going to be? And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. It's opening up for them. As a go! And they've done it to square the game once again. Exhilarating.